you need to set the wheels in motion because it could happen in the next training session that you blow your ACL and then the surgery doesn't go right and you can't make a comeback or it's going to happen in 10 or 12 years time because there are no 40 year olds playing professional rugby you know it, it is going to end at some point so using the time that you have to put things in in place for when you are when you are finished um, I think that's like the, that's the biggest bit of advice and then the only other thing that I would say is that speak to the people that are involved in the club this is obviously for my experiences in rugby clubs but there's going to be a board of directors there's going to be people that are in charge there's head coaches and they they are in a position where they have certain skills they have a big network that you can tap into and there's probably not going to be an opportunity in you at any stage in your career once you're retired that there will be a collection of people that want to help you and want you to develop